Hello everyone, Josh here with Dygetic Audio, and today we're taking a look at the fade and gain envelope in Adobe Audition and how it can be used to quickly adjust the volume. The fade envelope when applied allows you to change the amplitude over time. That means that you'll never be able to boost the audio any louder than it already is, but can merely adjust the amplitude at any given point. The effect looks like this, and can be easily adjusted by dragging the lines across the timeline. If you select a smaller portion of the audio, it will apply only to that selection. Hello everyone, Josh here with the Dagenic Audio Project. Today we're going to unbox. You can use spline curves to smooth out your transitions as well. Gain envelope, on the other hand, allows you to boost or reduce amplitude over time. This is changing the gain volume of your file, meaning that you can go both louder than the original audio all the way through peaking your file, so be careful. And you can reduce the gain as well. Like the fade envelope, it can be adjusted by dragging the lines across the timeline. You have an option of spline curves or no spline curves depending on how accurate you need to be. Hello everyone, Josh here with the Dagetic Audio Project. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Presona. Hello everyone, Josh here with the Dagetic Audio Project. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Presonus Air. In the multi-track view, you already have this on the tracks and it's used by clicking and dragging across the audio file exactly like you can in the effects. While using these effects can help take your editing to the next level, it won't matter without a good studio monitor setup. Check out this video where I review some affordable studio monitors that I've found to be excellent at editing audio. And check out this playlist where I go over every effect in Adobe Audition and how to use it. 